what's going on YouTube? Couldn't hear it. Jay Hunter Plus. Guys, I got a Haskavana to share with you guys today. And I'm not talking about Haskavana the chainsaw. Talking about this beautiful rifle right here, guys. I have this now for a long time. Tucked in the safe. And I want to take it out and do some shooting with it. But this thing is chambered in 9 by 3 by 57 and literally to get hammer for it you have to get someone to do some reloads for you and I have someone already making some for me and pretty much what he do is just take some 8 millimeter casing and stretch them and do what he do best you know I have I have some I have some about nine shells for it but I don't want to shoot these as yet until I get back those from that guy so soon as I get back those then I'm gonna take this out and have a blast check this thing out guys this thing is really really nice this one guys I don't think this get as much use if you look right down in there this thing is really clean so who did have this one i think they maybe shoot it a couple of time tuck it away and i pick it up from them as you guys know moser bill some of the best action there is and this is one of the action it's really strong and the next thing why, what i like with this rifle when you shoot your last shell then the follower come up so you can close your bolt i see quite a few people they pull it apart and just grind it down but i don't think i'm going to do that i'm gonna just leave it as is and the next thing what I love with this rifle right here like my hunting rifle when I'm out doing hunting I love to do a lot of walking so when I sling it across my back then my back then the bolt I always love to just come open and kick my shell right out but if you look at this one it have a little flap right here so you can just close your bolt and right there so this is not gonna flick open kick your shell out i think this future right here is nice and this thing right here and the only marking I see on this one is 8491. I don't know if that is the year this one was made. I don't know. And lots of these they use. Lots of these in some part of Africa to take big game. Because this thing can take from your medium size game to right up to your big game and it's just a shame you can't run to your gun store and pick up ammo for this thing because if you have to go there right now and pick up like a modern 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 day good quality rifle like this you're gonna have to pay well over a thousand dollars this one I see them anyway from three to five hundred bucks, and for such a well-built, strong rifle like this, you know, the price is low, but it all come down to the ammunition. So I think when I'm half this winter, then thinking maybe I'm gonna go see if I can 
do like a take like a reloading class so maybe i can reload my own shells because this rifle here is really strong and comfortable and if i get a moose tag this year i think i'm gonna go out there with this thing and see if i can get a moose with it if you look right on top guys this thing is not even topped for a scope nothing at all this thing is really really nice you know the bluing is good otherwise from this like a chip on the wood this thing is really sweet so i think this is gonna be a keeper for me hopefully you know i keep it as long as i can get ammo for it then it's gonna be a keeper but that's all i know know about this guy so if you guys have any other information on it you know you can just leave it in the comment section for me and when i go out to shoot this maybe i can talk a little bit more about it but for now like always like share and subscribe